All right, continuing to work on the Turbo Camaro today. Um, it looks a little dingy right now. I accidentally sprayed it with the uh, Meguiar's Quick Wax instead of the Quick Detailer, and then I rinsed it down with water real quick um, to get that stuff off of there, but that's why it looks a little dingy. But I'm just trying to clean up some of the dust. I've been working on these hood pins today, and man, was that a project. So they came out really nice. I'm gonna probably do something a little different with the wires. Um, the nice thing is they are actually like coated in rubber. So that side of it, it shouldn't chip the paint or anything, but I'd like to get them to hold a little differently and make sure it's not gonna chip anything. I got the front emblem right there on. So I was able to reuse my emblem. This emblem's probably like five or six years old, I bought it. I was able to just uh, peel an edge on the backing and then just roll it off with my thumb. And for all these emblems so far, this is the double-sided tape we're using. It's super thin, like super, super thin. Let's see if I can peel this back for you guys. So like that, that's actually the sticky. Put that against there, peel this back. The thinnest 3M stuff I could find was this stuff, which is just still too thick. Um, it shows the edge pretty, pretty decently with this stuff. So yeah, this stuff here is working out really good. Um, it's just a bit of a pain to get the goo off of it. So you gotta be really careful on trimming this and make sure you don't get any of the goo on your fingers because it's a pain in the butt to get off. But I got this emblem on and I'll actually show you guys. You can see this emblem, I use the 3M stuff and it sticks out. So I'm gonna redo that one. This one I use the other stuff and it's perfect. This one I use the other stuff, um, that thinner stuff, but I actually didn't peel all the factory off of it. So I might end up actually changing this one around as well. It's just trying different things and I didn't think I'd ever get the backing, the factory backing off, but I was able to get it off on this one over here. And once I did that, I realized I probably should redo the other one. And this one here, I was able to get it off as well. Um, basically, I just peel an edge and then just roll it off with your thumb. So worked pretty well. I'm gonna put the rear one back on last, but just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of information there. Um, did get a new emblem there. Got the grills installed. Um, they're all screwed in like they should be. But I really love the way this front end looks now. It just looks just like factory. And I like that because honestly, besides the cowl hood on the car, it really doesn't stick out as all at all. I mean, it's got wheels and tires and a cowl hood. So you're not really gonna suspect it's a seven second car when you see that, which is exactly the vibe I've always liked. Now, if you look a little closer, you'll notice the fiberglass doors, but even that, it just, nothing's gonna stick out too much about the car that, yeah, you might think it's a 12 second car or even 11 second car, but it's not gonna scream seven second car. Really, nine out of 10 people are never gonna know. So I like that, I like the look. Um, I'll be hiding the intercooler now. The front end's way more rigid. But yeah, these hood pins, man. They're a nice piece, but they were a pain. I think it's Eddie's Motorsports that makes these. Let's see if I can find the package here. Yeah, it's Eddie's Motorsports. They were like $130, pretty, pretty pricey, but the old ones just had that piece of metal that went here. And when the pin went through, it would overshoot and chip the paint. So now if you look at this one, it's aluminum and it sticks up, so you'll never overshoot it and hit the paint, but then also it kind of has a receiver groove for where the pen goes. So it kind of holds it nice in place, but with all that, it made it really tricky. I'll open the hood and show you guys. Trying to do this with one hand's a little bit tricky. There we go. So, 
show you a couple things. A, I just don't like how those slide around. I gotta come up with something, but you can see what you do is you drill holes through the hood and then you have these bolts. They're actually studs and nuts that come through to hold that top plate. Um, same thing on this side, but what I did is you could actually do four, but I just did two on each side because of where the holes landed. Um, I tried to have, kind of had to figure out where it would lay out the best and just go with that with making sure it's not going to hit anything down here and making sure the studs are going to be long enough. You can see that one was just long enough to hit, go through and hit the nylock. So, but man, getting those holes lined it up, lined up, which they gave you this little template, but even with drilling through and taping it down, uh, you, you still had to egg the holes a little bit. And then I wasn't paying attention. I thought that this cross mark was where this guy right here, this cross pin was gonna land to your bolt holes. Well, it's not, it's just showing you the overall uh, two inch and 470 thousandths outside diameter. So that kind of screwed me up a little bit, but no big deal there. But yeah, you had to tape this down, drill the holes, and then once you did that, the next problem was, I'll show you guys this. I had to open up and enlarge the holes in the aluminum because, it works out perfect now, but because this hood isn't pinned on, it opens and closes, you know, just like what you see it. So this isn't gonna be straight up and down, it's gonna be on a little bit of an angle, and as the pin goes through it, it's gonna kinda have to change angle, or it's not gonna work. If this was square, and you had like 2000s clearance for your receiver, it'll never go through, because as the hood comes down, it kinda rolls in. So what that means is you gotta enlarge those holes, to kind of make that work. So a lot of little trickery there. It took me quite a bit of time, but it came out great. I'm happy with it. We won't chip the paint anymore, but I'm not a huge fan of these guys. So I'm gonna come up with something a little bit better there, but overall it's coming out really nice. Um, I like the hood pins. The, the black kind of ties in with everything. So that looks good. And we don't have to worry about Chipping the paint, that was the biggest reason for those. Um, the other ones, they worked. They just, uh, they just like to chip up the paint and then that like metal washer up top would always chatter around and leave chatter marks. So I like these being fixed. Um, honestly, even if these were just like double-sided taped, they'd probably be just fine. Um, just because once your pin's on the top of it, it's gonna be holding this down tight um don't really have to be bolted in but we bolted them in that will be uh they will never go anywhere so i like that but yeah the car's coming along coming along really nicely stumbling over my words it's been a long day <laughs> but uh yeah i'm excited the rear bumper's looking really good um got a little bit more wet sanding to do on the back of it here but i am i am excited i'm happy before I had this Camaro blacked out, um, it was just like a decal, so I'll probably put that back in. I didn't want to mess with painting it, um, just it adds another step, and if I ever want it to come back to being like it is right now, I can just remove the decal, so that's probably what I'll do there. But other than that, I think that'll be it for today. Um, slowly but surely, we're getting this thing knocked out, and it's coming out, coming out really well. I'm excited. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions about any of the products we use or anything we've got going on, just uh, comment and I'll get back with you guys. Thanks and have a good day.